we got this, bro. Thanks, man. Somehow it's got really catchy music. get back out there volume lowered a little bit streamer options on subtitles on subtitle background subtitle text color I'll make it green analytics all right you ready x fucking i can't believe we ended up playing both versions of this game both the prequel and the sequel. Can't believe this shit. Alright, starting up. Yeah, that's crazy. We are... Who do you want to play as? Ryan or Nisha? I imagine we're going to start as Ryan. Otherwise, this is going to be really weird. <laughs> Let's do Brian. All right. Daters. Yeah, I don't want to hit on a dude. First, you need to be found. Brian, age 28, so he's older than our last guy. He's also from London, and he's six foot. Like the profile picture. One, two, three, or four. Four looks horrible. One looks crazy. How did this picture even come to be? Like, what are you even trying to point at? And this is a good photo. What do you think? One or three? It can't be this one, right? Yeah. Three and one looks pretty good. So let's go three. What industry do you work for? Finance? Oh, I can back out. It matters not. It matters not. Uh, we need to pick a career though. Finance, like last time, creativity. I already, I already fucking clicked it. It's too late. Uh, finance, creativity, healthcare, or other. Same thing as last time, but we don't get arts, I'm pretty sure. Finance. Oh, this is the interest part. I see. Okay. Given that we're into finance, you think it's technology? It, technology, travel, maybe sports and fitness? Like, I can't see the any of the other ones popping up. I mean, unless you're, unless you're a partier, but it never looks good. Choose something that works with your industry, you know what I mean? Tech, travel, and sports, yeah. We'll do tech first. Travel. Sports. And none of you guys cared last time, so I'm just going to pick my own. God, dude, this looks... Nisha, pick up the phone. Ah, oh, and there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? I have had a lot of client meetings. It's been very full on. We're doing a merger at the moment, so... Are you aware how tough this doesn't sound? Thanks for the sympathy. Anyway, what? I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. I'm gonna need it. What's the saying? They have um, people in glass houses. Cheers. No way, you two. I gotta take two of these. Matches? Yes, a lot. 
No, it's zero. But don't like apps like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and you're not helping. You know, they really uh -huh. don't help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like 80 likes. But like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh ones, it's all just a bit quiet. Are your standards a little bit high? No. Anyway. I have a new initiative in the works. What's that? You're going to kidnap someone? I've signed up. Cheers to again. Speed dating tonight. <laughs> okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm bricking it and, like, do you want to have a drink before? Could you just say less? It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds. What is this guy talking about? Bye. Bye. She clearly asked him to go on a date before the dating app and he said no is he not interested in her because there's no substitute for meeting someone face to face like you can see their physicality feel their vibe yes but what if there is no vibe what do you do then if you're online you can He's log off cheap. you can make it an excuse you can just be gone my internet connection is crap dude my stomach you already feels that one to speed dating my name's Derek I'm yeah alcohol host. is probably such a bad we're gonna be beginning very shortly so gentlemen if you could make your way to your table numbers you are so cynical this is where you're gonna find that genuine connection you keep banging on about why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that <gasps> Mi why are you smiling at me like that no I'm not smiling you're like in the thing Misha? There is a small possibility Where's I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm a not glorified this. clam. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to I'm them. a man now. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, that's why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with a gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. <laughs> um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. Go cheers. well, lad. Cheers. Cheers. We gotta take a cheers. Go well, lad is such a crazy saying. Go well, lad. Kathleen's study break. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm Ryan. Ryan, I'm Kathleen. Why would Sorry, she bring I a just book to a speed date? In a quick page. Do you mind if I get to the bottom? Yeah, by all means, far away. All yours. What are you reading? Uh, the evolution of Good brain forming dynamics across the 21st century. You don't have time. It's a speed date. Yeah, well, that's crazy. Who the fuck brings a book to a speed date? Oh, no, no, no. I have to finish it for a seminar tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a PhD student in behavioral psychology. Well, you heard her. She's in school. She has to read it. Are we going to show curiosity or move on? Yeah, curiosity is such a good one. Uh, what do you think of it? She has some interesting points. The chapter I'm on covers the... Are you able to read this at all? ...on behavioral model. Let's see if I can change. I want the background subtitle black. Link and attraction dynamics. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. <laughs> no, that does sound interesting. Well, I wanted to but, um, read the I mean, uh, subtitles. please don't ask my opinion on it, because I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. White I and green didn't really match. that of you. But if this goes well, maybe you'll learn a little something. Oh, okay. so you're here because you're looking for a study buddy. No, quite the It really opposite. didn't. I need someone to keep me out of the library occasionally. <laughs> so the age-old work-life conflict. Which side of it do you fall on? Um, work or life. I'd say that balance is best? No. No fence sitting one or the other. 
no offense sitting, you have to pick life over work. All right. Work is, it's just a necessity. I mean, any moment I'm not in work or on the clock, I can devote to whatever I actually want to do. So you're a nine to fiver? At the very most. I don't think I can stay out of the library that much. Uh, anyway, I have a confession to make. A confession? Okay, already. Everyone tells me that for whatever reason, I haven't lived. I don't believe that. I've never been to a nightclub. Never. What, your fourth stint as a student and you've never even set foot in a nightclub? I said it. in the day in a Stepped cafe in, with a, a book in my in laptop. A nightclub. This is your halfway warning, guys. Halfway. So you are still studying to become a more qualified psychologist. <laughs> the more you know, the more you earn. So where do you see yourself in five years? And as a psychologist? Sorry, I researched good speed dating questions before tonight. And that's what you got? <laughs> it sounds a little bit more like you researched good job interview questions instead. <laughs> At a Hooters. Same as I am now, family man or famous? Same as I am now. I mean, it can't be family man, right? Famous, hopefully. Uh, well, I actually have an ambition to be famous by then. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> sorry, you're serious? You yes, laughed in our face. I'm serious? I mean, nowadays people can be famous from all walks of life. Why couldn't I? That's a very good point. <laughs> I just find the conceit of a celebrity to be really harmful to society. What, what do you mean? It creates widespread feelings of inferiority. What do you also, mean? Fandom is the type of deification that triggers emotional dependency. Agree to disagree or continue debate. What are you? Are you a pussy ex? Are you gonna back down? Or are you gonna fight for what you think is right? What type of character are you, huh? You know, fight for what you think is right. Fight for it, bro. Continue to debate. Yes, but fame can actually be a great thing. Sure it can. There are loads of superficial benefits to it. Yes, there are those, but there's more than that. Like, celebrities can provide inspiration to their fans. The state's so over anyway. Really need it. Okay. Let's pull back from the effect your fame would have on others. Why do you want to be famous? Am I getting the psychologist treatment now? <laughs> Maybe. Can I only pick one thing? We only have a finite amount of time, Ryan. Influence or money? Influence? Yeah, that, that seems a bit obvious. I would... If you're doing it for clout. money, you're doing it for the wrong thing. The what? The clout. The influence. Like, the clout. it would mean that I would have a platform so that my words and my actions actually mattered. That sounds like something a cult leader would say. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one yeah. minute. I mean, no, I right would use it to raise awareness for worthy causes. Okay, with that platform, if you did an act of goodwill, think of the visibility you would have. It could inspire other people to do similar things, and then it can branch out and like all of a sudden, you know, you can spread a positive Catholic message. Business. Yeah, that's a positive way to look at clout. I follow this lifestyle influencer who documents the joys and hardships of being a single mother. That yeah. kind of visibility is really important. Well, look, don't say I didn't tell you. But listen, I think um, we're running out of time and we've wasted a lot of it debating. Time well spent in my book. Okay. Thanks a lot, ladies and gents. She Turns likes debating. On. Let's be moving on. Well, um, it was great meeting you. Yeah, you too. Uh, have a good evening. See ya. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. That's actually kind of fucked up. There's no way she picked up her book right after that, right? Brandy Rising Grind? What the fuck is this? Hi there. Uh, uh, I'm Ryan. That's it? She's got number 999. I'm Brandy. Nice to meet you, Brandy. What do you do for a living? I work in finance. Long hours, big paycheck. Well, the more you put in, the more you get out. That's why I've got my side hustles. 
I'm a beautician, but I'm doing an online course in international relations. I and honestly cryptocurrency. Hate her. I just I hate her. an NFT actually. I hate um, her. Fungible token, the, the digital art thing. Bingo. Play money though, isn't it? I hate her. Yeah. Bank account. Sorry if I'm quite direct about things. We just don't have a lot of time. Sure. Um, can what I... are you looking for? Oh. Okay, that is a big question. Important question. So, you told her, sarcasm probably, so you told her that you work in finance and she hits you with like, oh, I worked in crypto. I sold like an NFT. My bank account's huge. That's what she told you. That's fucking wild. That's, that's absurd. Well, I mean, whatever I can get, really. I mean, they didn't do any background checks here, so I couldn't really pass up on that opportunity. Although, that could work both ways. You could be an axe murderer, for all I know. Obviously not. The crypto trading beautician is a pretty suspicious cover story. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no. Uh, yes. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. I am being sarcastic. Um, I am doing it badly, mind you, oh, but I was... you're joking. Right. No, that Dude, is actually yes. quite funny. Sorry, I just... I don't really get British humour sometimes. You know, I wasn't born here. Irish humour, but... Uh, right. Uh, um, <laughs> you have been here for a while by the sounds of things. Do you live locally? Yeah, I bought a one bed up the road. It's top floor with an amazing view of the water. You Bragging about a, a penthouse. penthouse. That NFT was pretty valuable. Where do you live? I live 10 minutes away. Um, I live on my own as well. Flat? Yep. Buy it or rent it? Back to the quick fire round. I mean, we're covering a lot. Yeah, we are. So? So obviously she's looking for the answer of own. So are we going to lie to her and say own or be renting? Yeah, we own that crap. I own it. Yeah, I'm very lucky to be able to say that. Um, it's very difficult to get on the property ladder in London. You earned it. You work hard in an industry that pays well. Thank you, Randy. This is your three minute warning, guys. Three minutes to go. Three minutes. Just three minutes of lovely conversation. Can we shoot this dude? Okay, let's move on to barn affairs. Do you like holidays? I do. Where do you go? How is holidays, holidays born a bear? What kind are you into, though? Um, I allowed to say a lad's holiday. Go for it. You won't hear from me again, though. With an AK and a melee, this this week is cray cray. Um, so for the holidays, do you normally go abroad or do you normally stay in town for the holidays? What are you going to tell her? I think obviously she wants to do abroad. Yeah. You can't beat a beach holiday for a bit of or and or. Very true. Vitamin D is essential for our well-being. You want a speedos guy though? No, 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 no. I am. Um, I, I can't pull him off. Won't ask why. I, I can only travel <laughs> to travel recently, so I've got a lot of places on my list. Well, what's what's the top of the list? There's more than one thing. Uh, cruise the Galapagos Islands. I hate her. Meet the sloths and turtles in Costa Rica. See the Iguazu Falls between Brazil and Argentina. Just let her talk, dude. Just let her talk. Don't. There's no way you interrupt her when she's talking about list of things that you asked for. Yeah, okay. I don't know, for me it's more about experiences. You know, I'm not so much into the historical stuff. Yeah, but I, and see new cultures as well. Like, it's amazing to go to new places and see the different people and all the places that you're in operate on a mm. daily basis. So, have you been traveling alone? I like doing things my way. Do you never get bored or lonely, like having to go to dinner? Obviously, she time. gets lonely. Well, I've got my phone or tablet for entertainment and talking to people, but um, if I want less screen time. Ah, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I always keep a deck on deck. <laughs> I mean, nice. I, I picked this one up ages ago. I think it's got, I don't know, an extra king in there somewhere. An extra king? Uh, that might come in handy. Uh, depends on the game. Okay, next question. 
Does body count matter? Holy moly. I was not expecting that question. Well, you were getting too smug. So, what do you think? This could go anywhere, dude. I think the answer is no that she's looking for. But she's got wear and tear. I mean, it's crazy that she would say that. You know what I mean? Does body count matter? I've, I've never been asked that question. I've been asked, what is your body count? She's going for a no, though. No, not for me. I, you know, just so long as someone's past doesn't affect their present too much. So, you know, the body count, it would not be an issue. Okay. So you're open-minded. That's cool. Are you trying to tell me something, though? No. Got one minute to go, guys. Just one Is that sarcasm? That She's we'll be being sarcastic with very you. Soon. So, how did my questions make you feel? There's a customer satisfaction survey. Awful, fun, or nice. Is greatly valued. Is it actually? There's no way we're oh, going to pick awful, because that's not true. One would be like, oh, I had a fun time talking to you. And then nice is not true, right? There's no way. She did kind of, she did kind of play with us a little bit. Right? Fun it is. I don't think it was awful. Awful is if you're just saying it. Yeah, it was it was fun. I didn't really feel like we felt like strangers. Do you? The answer isn't part of the survey, sadly. <sighs> okay. I see how this is going. Okay. Okay. And your time is up. Thank you, ladies and gents. Lads, move on to your next table. Your date is awaiting. Oh. Wait, are you disappointed? Only because I had more questions. Would you like my social media handle? Oh, shit. Um, or I could give mine. I never message bus. At the Brandy Babe Girl. Brandy Baby Girl. See you later, Ryan. Goodbye, Brandy. <laughs> are we in with the Crypto Girl? Is that what's going on? We got a handle. That yeah, we did. Azealia. Number 666. This is dangerous. Sorry. Just fixing my eyeliner. Of course. Azealia. I'm Ryan. You don't look like a Ryan. No. <laughs> well, what do I look like then? Not sure yet. She brought her own glass. It's not from here, is it? No. Oh, she brought her own alcohol. <laughs> I made it. Just like the kombucha poured into it. That's the uh, fermented drink, isn't it? Exactly. Well, you need to tell her, X. You gonna tell her that it looks gross, or you gonna tell her that it looks good? What's your thought here. It looks good. Looks good. Are you happy with the batch? Very. Okay. I'll tell you more about it, but we haven't got much time. <laughs> so, the kombucha is homemade. Uh, the goblet is homemade. What else is homemade? I'd say 90% of this. The clothes, the accessories. 90% of scratch. her stuff? Started selling my stuff online during lockdown, and it grew into a full-time business. Oh, wow, that's really original. Thanks. Turns out my aesthetic plays quite well these days. What aesthetic is that? Call it what you want. I've heard hundreds of terms, kind and unkind. So either you, you're, the ball's in your park, right? You can ask her, because she clearly feels good about this, or you can change topics and say, why speed date? It's the same reason why the girl asked you earlier. It's an important question. It's something that you could easily say off the top. Are you going to change topics? We're changing topics. What brings you speed dating, Azalea? I am self-employed in a company of one. So the only way I see you As long as you know that the ball's in your court, that's what matters. Big old bandon. 
I don't like the apps. People are very judgy. Doing okay. it at the wrong time is bad. I'm starting to hear that. Okay. People think you're trying to escape the convo. I can actively remove myself from that environment if I do. Do I look like a Ryan yet? Not quite. All right then. <laughs> well then, what else can you tell about me? You have the energy of an air sign. Of an air sign? quite logical and proactive. How so? Like, we've only just met. It takes proactivity to come to a speed dating event. Well, what if I told you I was dragged here by my best mate, Misha? I'd say you're using logic to undermine my instinct. Damn. All right. Just three minutes to go, everyone. Three minutes. I know. It's going very quickly, very quickly. You're really into your astrology, then. It gives me structure. I analyze my behavior in the context of something bigger. So my you... Main star star I'm already aware that you hate astrology. really suits me. <laughs> So if some girl was going to go up to you and you're at this speed dating with her, mind you, are you going to engage her to keep the three minutes going or are you just going to move on? What's your question? What's your, the ball's not quite in your court, but you can, you can do anything you want here. Yeah, I think moving on might be bad, but engaging would do well. We already moved on once. And um, then based on when and where I was born, my rising sign is Sagittarius. Too much rush. And my moon sign is Libra. What's the difference be between those three? Your main star sign is your sun sign. It represents sort of your desires in life. And your rising sign is how you present to others. And moon sign's what you're like deep down. Okay. I don't know any of them. I, I, don't, I don't really know about the other two. <laughs> work them out for you. <laughs> we haven't got much time. So. <laughs> so then, what makes your sun sign so Scorpio? We aspire to be brave, loyal, honest. Sounds <laughs> Cantonese. Jealous and secretive. That doesn't really. Does sound kind of foreign. Huh? Do you relate to them as animals as well? I guess. Aren't they really aggressive? Only when threatened. But don't they eat each other though? Yeah. I forgot to mention that. And this is your what? final minute, guys. Final minute. What? So, I was wondering. No, um, I've spoken about myself enough. I want to know more about you. I feel like it's been pretty even. Can you just? It really hasn't. So I want to know more about you. Fine, far away. Is that a flirt? She kind of seems like she's into you. That's all I'm gonna say, dude. Um, because I mean. I don't know if she's trying to eat you, bro. I don't know if she's trying to suck on your blood. I don't know if she's a vampire or some shit. If she is, then you're fucked. That's all I'm going to say. What's your type? Tell me about your tattoos. What's the idea? Yeah, we're dead if it's a fucking vampire. Tats. So, uh, Azalea, I have noticed you have a couple of tattoos. Couple? I do. She's got quite a few. Want to know about any of them? Yeah, why is that one thing. Satan? Some stories are better than others. Um. Oh, man. Oh, man. The caravan looks so fucking stupid. The caravan. Why does the why does she have a caravan on her fucking forearm? And why does it look awful? I don't want to ask about the caravan because it sounds so obvious. I'd rather ask about the Satan. Satanism. The caravan is funny though. So you, you want to go pentagram? The pentagram? Is that a satanic symbol? I mean, I've dabbled in Satanism, but its wider but... interpretation is quite genteel. It's about shunning the rigid restrictions of society. Mm -hmm. And it's not about sacrificing babies. You're safe. And the tattoo. I what? Just, um, I like the shape. It's all about those clean lines and sharp edges. That's your lot, ladies and gents. Time's what? up. What? Let's be moving on. That was the um, kind of interaction I was hoping for from this. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Me too. Well, we're in. Where, what is your handle? I'd love to check some of your stuff out. At Azalea Shadows. A-Z-A-L-E-A -A -E Shadows. A-Z-A-L-E-A -E Shadows. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you're two for two right now. Two for two.
We're cooking, bro. Let, let him cook. This one seems way easier than the previous game that we played, though. Five dates seems impossible. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah. You my date now? Yeah, yeah, I guess I am. I'm, I'm Ryan. Tony, nice to meet ya. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a match tomorrow, so I've got to keep limber. Yeah, match for what? Ask, um, what is it, a sports match? Do you play locally? No, it's my job, actually. I'm a footballer. Oh, shit. Should you be out dating the night before a match? Ah, oh, don't worry. It's fine as long as I'm in bed by 12. Don't drink, I'm an alcoholic. And don't have sex. Uh, what's your position? Reverse cowgirl. No, um, what is your football position? What do you think? <laughs> she knew what you meant, bro. Well, that's, that's a tough one. Well, just say which area of the pitch. I'll narrow it down for you. I'm not tall enough to be a goalkeeper. I am a keeper in other ways, though. Bro, we just sat down with her. She's trying to fuck us. She's literally trying to fuck us right now. You think she's a substitute? Bro, you think she's keeping limber because she's a substitute? Are you serious right now? Get her out of here. <laughs> bro, bro, she literally was. By the way, another rule for about having a match the next day. I can't fuck anybody. When I'm looking at you, tasty eyes. I'd say you are out dating tonight because you're going to be sitting on the bench tomorrow. <sighs> Listen, my lad. Not that subs aren't important. That's but so I'm fucked. Choice, left yeah, back. that's left back in the changing room. Left back is in defender, you bell end. <laughs> yeah, she is a defender. <laughs> you, you, yourself. you guess yes, second. Big time. Frankly. Football, rugby, tennis. There's no sub. You thought she was keeping limber because she's a sub, bro? You're crazy. Even if you don't know anything about it. You're crazy, man. Yeah, I'll pick it up as I go along. It's like watching the Olympics, isn't it? Where you become an expert in, like, some random event overnight. Yeah, I became an avid curling and skateboarding fan for those two weeks. I just wanted to rip her. It's not your phone. Is this reminding me to carb load tomorrow? Carb load? Footballer's best friend. You're gonna this eat that all right in front of us? Warning, guys, that is three minutes to go. So, um, how did you become a pro? I'd say my key influence was my dad. He used to take me to practices, to matches. He knew I fell in love with it and did everything to cultivate my passion. The kit, the traveling, consoling me. You don't have time to eat. Just eat it. Your parents. No, no. I, I mean, she's gonna be here the whole time. time right, lad? Tell me. If you want Mother, to. neither, both, father. You don't say neither. Never say neither. You could say both, but that's like a cop what. Who do you want to ask her about? The mother or the father? Because the father it taught her how to do like the sports. So are you going to ask more about the father? Are you going to lean into the mother? Both is the cop out answer. And you don't want to do neither. So what are you going to do? Uh, I, for me, I, I'm a mama's boy. Let's go, father. You should, <clears throat> I think you should always ask a girl about her relationship with her father. Just because most fathers are super protective. And if they have a sour relationship, it's good to know that ahead of time. Yeah. Like you, I'd be really close to my dad. He kind of taught me what it meant to be like a man, to be open-minded, which for him I got you, bro. was more about your mindset. Six years of experience ahead of you right trait. now. Yes, lads. <laughs> <laughs> We're lucky, eh? I also took really? psychology well, in college. <laughs> was humility. Some of this relates to, to psychology. on the ground and appreciate what I have as well as what I want. So... You can change the subject, or you can keep listening. Are you going to interrupt her like last time, or what are you going to do? Like, you already know not to change. Yeah, you already know not to change topics. What would you say you inherited from your dad? Oh, God, that is tricky. Uh, on the positive side, I would like to hope that I am a good listener, that I am supportive. He definitely taught me how to take responsibility when I need to, and I think that I can keep my cool under pressure. Any negative traits? Yeah, uh, I 
some pretty shitty dad jokes. Uh, <laughs> and don't annoy me when I'm watching TV. I feel like that's universal for most dads. I think the most negative thing I've inherited from my dad is my stubbornness. In which ass? How bad are we talking? Like bad, really bad. If you want to get through to me, you have to really persist. And even then, sometimes the persistence really backfires and just pisses me off. So the competitive part of it. Very wise. <laughs> I think that's why but she's so competitive. Kind of just one minute. Ooh, we're in like, stoppage time. It's like being told that you can't do something. Whoa, that was the best so her, she made it her goal to, <laughs> to do that something. Do you fancy you know? another quick challenge? Yes, yes. But what do you want to do? Well, there's conversation starters and riddles, apparently. Convenient. Okay. A man looks at a painting and says, Brothers and sisters, I have none, but that man's father is my father's son. What? Who's in the painting, the man or his son? Hold on. Camera option, move camera. A man looks at a painting and says, Brothers and sisters, oh, I, have sisters none, I have none. Uh, but the man's father is my father's son. I had to think about this one. His father is my father's son. That man's father. That man's father is my father's son. So either he's the man, or he's the man's son. The man? Who's the painting? The man was father's son. It is the man himself. That's what I was going to say, but a draw is no fun. I say, man, son. But how do we find the answer? Oh, is it? It's it folded in. Okay. More thoughts gone into this event than I gave it credit for. The man, son, get in. Oh, Damn. Oh. You only got that because you swapped your answer. You did. You thought the man as well. Uh, a win's a win, right? No matter how you. Go, I mean, that's right? kind of fair, honestly. If she uh, chose the same thing as you, time, that's everyone. that's a win. Move on to your next day. We crammed a lot into that. Yes, we did. Um, yeah, it was great to meet you, Tony. You know, you didn't want to sure get in with the crypto, uh, and you didn't want to get in with this oh, chick, but you seem to have got in with everybody so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's your handle? At TN7. Tony Newton, I'm a shirt number seven. That is some main character shit right there. Okay, I will not. Damn, she winked at us. Expect the unexpected. Is it with Misha? 808. It's Misha, right? Like our friend? Good evening. I'm Derek, evening host. Hello, Derek. Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, unfortunately, the lady that was sat at this table, she had to leave early. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, right. So are you filling in for her? Did she pull a runner when she saw me? No, nothing of the sort. She uh, is a musician. Had a gig to get to. Well, that's okay. pretty fair. That's a good alibi. How did the rest of them go? Find what you're looking for? Oh, yeah, so the last one? Yeah. Well, I'm... I'm kind of glad about that, because I don't really know how many more I had left in me. But I'm sure you made a fantastic impression. What are you going to tell this man? Are you going to tell him that you didn't find anyone just yet, or do you think you found the person? What are you thinking? What are you, what are you going to tell this dude? I think... I mean, there's no, like, correct answer here. Not in this scenario. Let's explore options. Yeah, no, I've met some great people, but I think it's just too early to tell. Speed dating is just to pique curiosity rather than find love. It's just like a little teaser, isn't it? You just kind of just get to know them, and just as you're getting there, 
It's like tapas, I like to say. <laughs> well, a little bit of everything. Love tapas, yeah. <laughs> Some olives. I do have to call you out, though, because there's sometimes when I'm really, the date's going well, and then just then I hear you screaming out. Give me like an extra 30 seconds. I need to be able to give you a signal or something. How long are you hosting? I have lots of hosting experience. He's, ho he's setting on us, dude. Speed deck and stuff, just at the beginning of lockdown. So those were digital, I presume? Mm-hmm. Correct. For me, Finding love is the most formative journey. Get up and and leave. I just wanted to help people continue that journey, despite the circumstances. Having said that, there is no real substitute for meeting someone special in person. So from these, have you ever had any marriages develop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had a couple. Uh, even a couple of babies named after me. Yeah. <laughs> Need to put it in my bio. Pregnancy facilitator, Derek. No, you, you really don't, <laughs> because that sounds like something that would be on a t-shirt on a lad's holiday. <laughs> the stag do t-shirts, you're right. Okay. I actually think I've seen them before. I sell like hotcakes, though, right? <laughs> so how did you hear about us? I was duped into coming here this evening. I thought I was going out for a drink with my best mate, Misha, and here I am. Uh, she's actually somewhere here. She's on a date somewhere, I don't know. But... Well, I, I love a strong male-female friendship. Do you prefer the company of women or men? Women. Come again? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll read Women. This. Who do you feel like you naturally engage with more easily? Women. I have always found it easier to fit in with women. I think I'm just more comfortable sharing my thoughts and experiences with them. It, no, it's not that I'm uncomfortable talking to men. Oh, no, of course not. I mean, we're chatting freely, aren't we? Yeah. He's trying, dude. <laughs> He's trying real hard. You are halfway, guys. Halfway. God. Don't tell anyone I forgot. Your secret is safe with me. Thanks. So tell me, what is the best way to approach all of this? Well, aside from being yourself. Well, let me rephrase that. Do you have any less crap advice? No, I don't. Sorry. The thing is... There's so many different types of personalities in here. One person's poison might be another person's paradise. Yeah, that is a fair point. Mm. Okay, I'll pose you this. Are you looking okay. for someone more lively or laid back? Because that may decide what kind of energy you want to exude yourself. They're both are brilliant, but markedly different. You gotta think about the girls that we've talked to so far, right? Whatever you're not, well, you work in finance, and you told this girl that you liked traveling. Remember the crypto? I mean, it's probably lively, but... I definitely want someone who is dynamic. I don't want him getting that I wrong idea, though. Just... Spice of my life. Oh, not to dominate though. No, because that can just be a whole different thing. It can get toxic. Um, although, there's no harm in me being put in my place from time to time. No, crack of the whip. <laughs> I never said I was into that. <laughs> I was wondering, has hosting these made you an expert in romance? Oh boy, like an some kind of love guru. No, <laughs> no. No, come on. You must have more hey, yo. than the average guy. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Has it ever helped in your personal life? Sadly, no. No, it's still very single. Why, did you have someone in mind for me? Yeah. Misha, she would love to meet you. She's here, I can introduce you. Um, I'm sure Misha's fab, but I won't be interested. That's a bit mean. What's wrong with That's her? a bit mean. Well, she's a her. Oh, oh, um, no, oh. No, 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 I shouldn't have assumed. That was silly of me. You're fine. Oh, he, he's gay. Oh, I never saw that coming, dude. Gay. Him? Ah, oh, dude. All right, what are we thinking? We're going we're gonna to change the subject, right? We're going to try to recover this and get it the fuck out? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. Anyway, um, it's a real shame that the, the event's nearly over. Yeah, it is. 
You know, back in the day, you would have had to meet people, uh, you know, if you were going out or maybe at work. No, or by chance. Yeah. Or by chance. <laughs> I was just wondering. He's trying so you hard. Feedback for us. The host is too well dressed. Oh. <laughs> I mean, look, come on, you were putting the rest of us to shame. Please. <laughs> oh, uh, aside from that. Different location. It's kind of a weird one. More options, meaning like more people to talk to. Different location. I don't see it. Like, that's so weird. That's... So more options is just like, you're being relentless. Different location is like, the cop answer. And no feedback is just, you know, no feedback. You have nothing to work with here. The venue is, uh, well, it's a little bit uninspiring. Yeah. I guess the ambiance could be a bit better. But if the events but... grow clarity, then more people will come, budgets will grow, we'll be in the Ritz. Well, look, that being said, you do have the most important thing down, which is an interesting group of people, so. <laughs> Save the Ritz for now, so. I don't think they let me in. Okay. That is your final minute, guys. Final minute. So. Tell me, who did you meet tonight? Oh, this is a test, isn't it? Who did I meet tonight? I met Kathleen, mm -hmm. I met Azalea, I met Tony, and I met Brandy. Oh, Derek, I don't suppose you could give me any intel. Just, Ryan, there's no way that I could do that. Nothing personal, just, you know, just give me a read. With all your experience, come on, as a friend. I guess I could do a read. Who in particular? Oh god, I guess we only have time for one. Dude! Um, anyone! Please. Anyone! What are you gonna pick? Who did you feel the most closest to and want to know how they feel about you? Brandy is the, um, is the NFT girl. Tony is the athletic chick. Azelia was the Satanist, you're right. Who was Kathleen? Why am I blinking out on Kathleen? You're... It's crazy that you knew it. Chicken we hated. The chick that we hated. We hated like all of them. We got her handle first. Tell me about Kathleen. I don't remember, dude. She's awesome. Super intelligent, smart, uh, emotionally mature. I get the sense that she has a real strong sense of her own boundaries and would appreciate someone who's honest and open. Okay. Honest and open. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Derek. That was very perceptive. I'm a professional. Clearly. Clearly. Okay. That, unfortunately, ladies and gents, is the end of tonight's event. Everyone get home safely. I've been Derek, and thanks for coming. What can I say? Thank you again, Derek. Thank you for keeping me company, because I would have been sat here like a melon otherwise. <laughs> no, you're welcome. I hope you had fun. And yeah, I guess I'll see you around. <laughs> that that's you, X. You're like, bro, what the fuck? How do I get out of this situation now? So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well, there was Kathleen, who was a PhD student studying psychology. She oh, the psychologist. Very, she was reading on our oh. date. She was just very smart. It was a little Oh, Do you, think you wanted to know more about the reader? No. Why? So I don't think I quite... Her she was the only one who hated him. Between my my ears, <laughs> I just don't see it happen. Well, you won't be for everyone. There was Brandy. Let me tell you about Brandy. My God, she was a. She would put you to shame the amount of work she would do. She is a crypto trading beautician, and she's studying as well. Wow, yep. what a. 
combination. I don't even know how she finds the time Brandy, to do yeah. Is there a spa? Yeah, yeah, yeah there was. I, no, I liked her. She's um, she she she'd make you raise your raise your game, you know. And your game needs to be raised. Well, so you keep telling me. Yeah.